Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna learn about how we can create enhanced chatbot in Salesforce. Salesforce has two types of chatbot. One is standard and the other one is enhanced. The standard bot doesn't have the enhanced functionality. Therefore, the Salesforce is gonna remove standard from uh, enhanced shortly. So how we're gonna create the enhanced chatbot in Salesforce? First, you need to go to the setup. After going to the setup, search for your username. Uh, mine is Sonali, so I'm gonna search it. After you search it, you're gonna see you should have the service cloud user permission there, and then chat user you also you can give, and then there is one permission set license assignment that is mastering for in-app and web user you need to have this license otherwise the chatbot will not work okay after you have this go to quick find and search present status you need to create a present status for messaging in-app i have already created one so i will just show you you need to create new and then you need to give a name i have given available for message then online and from here you need to select messaging here as a selected channel and then save after you do this you need to give this in your profile so go to profile so now you need to go to profiles and Give that present status assigned to yourself. So go to system admin as I'm system admin. So select system admin and you will see one option related to present status uh, that is service present status access. You need to uh, go here and edit and select the present status which you have created for messaging. I have already uh, added this here. Uh, available message this is done after this you need to go to um, queues and you need to create a new queue uh, this queue will be uh, benefited because whenever a customer is creating a request from chatbot it will be directed to the agent so uh, the agent will be there uh, in the queue which gonna pick your uh, request so for that purpose we are creating the queue here so go to new select the name here chatbot messaging queue for example and email i'm gonna put this and you can select this option after this uh, in uh, supported objects you need to select uh, messaging session messaging session here yeah you need to select this add it and then you need to select the members which will be there in the queue so i'm just selecting myself here you can select others too and then save after the queue is created you need to create the routing configuration for this as the queue will as the routing configuration will route the cases to the queue so uh, you need to go to routing configuration and you need to create a new routing configuration go to new give a name here chatbot message routing this will auto populate uh, no need to give the user routing priority will be one routing model is most available and then uh, you need to give the unit of capacity in progress so at a time it can uh, manage five work so i'm giving five and then you need to save this Once this is saved, you need to assign the queue you have created. So go to here. Uh, so you need to go back to queue. Uh, previously, we had created chatbot messaging queue. So here we have to edit it. So here you have to select the routing configuration. Go here and select the routing configuration you just created. This one. Select and then save after this is done you need to go to omni channel setting and you need to uh, enable this enhanced omni channel routing if it is uh, if you are doing it for the first time this won't be enabled so you can do that after this is done 
you need to go to messaging and you need to uh, enable this also messaging set, uh, messaging setting uh, this will be also enabled if you haven't enabled before you need to do that if uh, then after that you need to go to einstein You, you need to uh, select this one also and sign board you need to create it uh, and on it so after this is done go to messaging session messaging settings sorry and then uh, you need to create a new channel so go to new channel and create go to start select messaging for in-app and web and then uh, give a name here chatbot message okay and save once this is done you will be having all the things which will be populated here you can select the routing type here routing type will be omni queue and you have already created the queue so search for the name here we had created with chatbot so it will it will be coming chatbot messaging queue select this uh, these things are not very uh, necessary but you can select if you want to and then save search for Einstein bot and then create new select enhanced bot then next start from scratch select it then next uh, give a name for the chatbot I'm gonna give a uh, customer service bot then next next you need to select one uh, so select this new outbound omni channel flow and then next proceed and finish once this is done it will take you to the Einstein bot builder so uh, here you can actually create the bot you can give all the necessary uh, instructions for your bot what messages are gonna pop up what messages you want the customers to see this all things will be uh, done here so uh, what you need to do the next step is go back to the uh, setup and go to go to deployment embedded service deployment you need to create a new deployment here and you as you want to create a chatbot so select this messaging for in-app and then next uh, for web as we are creating for a web then next give a name here so chatbot message You need to give the domain name here so just keep this from dot com from remove this select the messaging channel you have created so chatbot message we had created and then save this will take a while Once that is finished, you will see this uh, page loaded up here. So what you need to do is first you need to make the you can see here messaging channel chatbot message inactive. So first you need to uh, make it active. So go back to the uh, channel that is messaging setting. Select this. And from here you can make it active. So activate it. Now it is active. Now if we'll go back, so uh, now it doesn't say that is it is inactive. Now what you need to do is you need to uh, uh, you need to take the code of the chatbot. So here the chatbot code will be present. You just take take it and copy clip to uh, copy to clipboard now this is copied need to create a visual force page so that you can see your chatbot so go to visual force then a uh, new you 
you just need to copy paste this code in the visual force page and when you will view it it will automatically come so chatbot just given a uh, visual force page name chatbot message Uh, this is done now uh, here you need to paste the uh, code so just paste it here and then save it so it says uh, the name only can contain underscore and alpha numeric characters okay there is a space here so just removing this now you can save message line 27 column 30 content is not allowed in drilling section okay here two t are there just remove it and then save okay now this is saved now you can preview it before previewing it you need to make your uh, chatbot active so first see what it says uh, you have a, a warning here your outbound flow route from customer service bot does not have an active version this will cause issues during transfer to bot actions so you need to uh, fix this just go to here in overview and there are some things which you need to fix uh, first add the channel here select your uh, embedded messaging then channel which you had created chatbot message and then the fallback queue chatbot messaging queue where all the uh, requests gonna fall and then this channel is using the chatbot messaging queue queue for queue based routing adding an omni channel flow to your channel replaces the current queue then save once this is done you need to uh, make a bot user so just select your uh, yourself here so uh, search for yourself uh, sonali gupta and now you can select and this is uh, also here so no need to make any changes and then uh, activate it you can see in dialogs So as you can see the chatbot is right now active and it has one warning saying your outbound flow route from customer service bot does not have an active version. This means that the flow whenever you create a uh, chatbot it gives two flows uh, on its own one is for to and one is for from. So in the setup uh, search for the flows here. Once you open the flows, you will see there are two flows which has which has been created by the chatbot. That is root from customer service and the root to customer service bot. Uh, you need to uh, open this. Uh, after you open this, you have to make it activate. But before making making it activate, you need to do some configuration. So uh, double click this. And here you need to uh, select the chatbot messaging queue which you had created for the queue and routing configuration. So you need to select this one. You just uh, replace this uh, and you you will get two options. You choose this and save. Okay. So uh, once you do this, the chatbot you need to activate. After this, you need to do, uh, do the same thing for the other floor also so the other floor also you have to select the same uh, queue there i'll just show it once and you need to make these two uh, flows activate for the chatbot to work otherwise it will show the agents are not available uh, need to double click and as you can see i have added uh, like select queue here you can add the queue so chatbot queue you can add here and then save as and then save so once all the configuration is done just make sure you have the settings uh, as per 
I told in the video. Go to my string settings, select your channel and just check once that uh, the routing type is OmniFlow and wrote to your chatbot name and the fallback queue is what you had created. Okay. Uh, now after this, go to Visual Force, the page you had created for uh, checking chatbot. Now we're going to preview the chatbot. Once uh, let's just see if our chatbot is active or deactivated. So right now it says it's deactive. So make it active. Now it is active. Uh, go to Visual Force, preview this chatbot. So now our chatbot will appear. See, this is coming. So this is the previous chat. I'm just ending it. Just again open it. And now it says the chatbot has joined. See? You can see, right? You can also give an input, but right now, as we haven't configured the chatbot builder, so this is a basic one. Uh, in the next video, I'll be covering how to uh, make the chatbot builder and how to make the flows in it so that it will respond as per the customer input. So this is how we're going to create the enhanced chatbot. Thank you for watching.